hypocrites, man, hypocrites, I'm telling you, hypocrites. You prepare to die. You want to go and die? I don't want you to die. I want you to do this little exercise. You want to help the Arabs? You want to help the Palestinians here? Sheikh Didat was infamously known for his loud and direct style of speaking, and he is addressing young university students here. Why is he calling these young Muslim men as hypocrites? Let the good Sheikh explain further. And I saw yesterday some scene. Alhamdulillah, the people that are here, more than 50% were there. But overall, the audience, 90% were our sisters and daughters. Do you know that? 90% of those people that were there, the Muslims, were women. I want to know what happens to our men. Maybe they all run away to around the mother's aprons, you know, trying to get protection. What? From the Jews. They had torn down your pamphlets, your posters. So terrified, she run away home in your mother's laps. What? Huh? 90%. I don't know, those of you who were there, you'll bear witness, 90% were our daughters. I want to know what kind of men are we breeding. And you are a people who are prepared to give battle. You university students, you want to do jihad. You want to do jihad. You want to go and die for the Palestinians do in the Intifada. I had two of your types from the University of Cape Town. I went there on a lecture tour with Dr. Finley, Paul Finley, and two young guys from the University of Cape Town, Muslims, Muslims. They came along, said, Mr. D. Dad, we want you to help us to get to Israel. I said, what do you want to do there? He said, we want to help in the Intifada. We want to help our brethren. I said, look, you see, the Jews are too well organized. Man, as soon as you land there, you are under surveillance. They are watching you. Every move you make, whose house you visit, all men, you are on record. They got you taped. I said, my sons, you got no chance. The Jews will catch you out in double quick time. You got no chance to go and help your brothers in the Intifada. He said, look, look, he said, D-Dad, get us into Beirut and we will sneak in through there. They are prepared to die for the Muslim cause. You are also prepared to die for the Muslim cause. Huh? You organize a meeting, but 90% of our audience was girls. Girls, they are prepared to die. They are prepared to face the Jews. Not you. What? Castrated all? Emasculated? Castrated animals? On the university campuses, you want to fight and want to give battle. So the young men, I'm telling them, I said, look, I have this book here, Arabs in Israel, Conflict or Conciliation. We are going to give them out at the meeting in Guru Center. I want you to go and give them out in the streets with a happy face. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Go and give it to the people, man. You want to go and die? I don't want you to die. I want you to do this little exercise. You want to help the Arabs? You want to help the Palestinians? Here is a booklet that you can give to the people. You want to help? Don't go and kill yourself. Don't commit suicide. Go and give this. What's the answer? He said, we're going to ask our Amir and come back. <laughs> They're still coming back. Hypocrites, man. Hypocrites, I'm telling you. Hypocrites. You prepare to die. But when some little sacrifice is asked of you, he says, come, my son, go and give this to the people. And you can't do that. You can't give a pamphlet with a smiling face. And you say you are prepared to die. Who are you bluffing? Who are you bluffing? Go and bless your fathers at home. Not Ahmad Didat. I can see through each and every one. Wallah. Look, I'm in the field for more than 40 years now. And I can see through when the guy is talking about going to and helping in the Indifada. I can see through you, you bloody hypocrite. Who are you bluffing? Huh? You just want some kind of, maybe putting me to the test, testing me out. How much I love the Palestinians. The situation in Palestine continues to worsen, heartbreakingly so. Beyond our du'as and sadaqah, the most effective action we can take to help is to strengthen our ummah through dawah. In the end, there is no substitute for the consistent hard work of calling non-Muslims towards Islam. The Sahaba indeed risked their lives fighting for the cause of Allah. But that was in addition to their consistent efforts in dawah and teaching the knowledge of Islam. Regardless of religion or culture, young men are often hot-blooded and reckless, lacking the wisdom that comes with time. If we can't even sacrifice the little things like our time and effort, why would we be expected to sacrifice the big things? So, my dear children, we are in the firing line, wallah. And Allah has given you an opportunity on this campus that you can share, learn how to share, how to talk. I know people are terrified of me. You, you, you guys, you Muslims are terrified of me. I came here two years ago and I offered my services. I said, look, I'm prepared to come every Friday. And I said, if I can afford, I'll give you people 10 rands each to come and listen to me. It took you guys two years to call me. And never again. But I'm telling you now, I said, you are all emasculated. 
caste racist people. You just talk. You want to give battle. You want to give jihad to who? You can't talk to the Hindu. You can't talk to the Christian. You can't talk to the African. You can't talk to the white man. You can talk to nobody. You are all castrated, emasculated people. Unless you are armed, and I'm prepared to arm you with knowledge. How to talk? Look, I've been talking for 40 years, and I have provoked the Christians, I have provoked the Hindus, I have provoked the Jews. But look, no Jew or Christian or Hindu has ever touched me. Maybe there's an invisible shield around me. There's nothing like that. So what is it? You are terrified of me. You don't want me to come and talk to you to share with you my thoughts, and you want to go and give battle to the Nasara. Who are you bluffing? Who are you bluffing? If you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to Islamica to support our efforts. Thank you.